Hello my lovely Virgos, I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes and I am here to do your February 2020 love reading um, because this is the month of love, you know, Valentine's Day, all that special stuff. Um, keep in mind this is a general reading, it will not apply to every single one of you, I wish I could do that but I can't. If you'd like me to pick up on your personal energy please email me. My email is in the box below. I will gladly give you all the information you need on personal readings. It's on the community tab as well as my website and check me out on Patreon. I do have openings for personal so hit me up if you're interested. <sighs> this is something a little different. Um, I'm not taking away content on YouTube. I'm just adding extra content on Patreon and it's any denomination, it's a monthly fee and you can change it so say for example you sign up for a twenty dollars a month for this month and then you're like I don't want to pay that going forward I only want to pay ten you can change it so that the next month it will come out as ten and so on and so forth and it can go as low or as high as you would like um, just to show your appreciation and to help support my channel and everything so I figured I would just do bonus content because I personally this is just my personal feelings I don't like it when readers on YouTube start one way and then only give you a certain amount and then expect you to go pay for a general reading um, to get the rest of the information I don't find that very fair so for, my, for me personally I'm just going to kind of do what I've always done so that this is kind of a complete reading and pick up extra details like obstacles and blocks, action that should be taken and potential outcomes, things like that over on Patreon. So it'll be like part one, part two. You get your YouTube freebie on part one and then your paid um, exclusive on Patreon part two. So anyways, um, the overall energy, and I'm just trying this out so I don't know how long I'm going to do this for, but hopefully it works out. Anyways, <laughs> let's see, the energy that I'm sitting in right now for you, Virgo, in love, I feel distance. It could be literal or metaphorical, so it could just be emotionally speaking. Um, I, I almost feel like somebody thought that things were moving forward. I feel like this is new energy. Um, you could be dealing with someone that you've known for a while. But regardless, I don't feel like this is an ex-person. So, I mean, it could be for some of you. Take it where it fits. We're dealing with energy, vice versa, whatever. Um, I just feel emotional disconnect. Like, things were going really good and almost seemed like they were, go and blah, 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 that they were going somewhere. But then communication. There was a miscommunication or lack thereof with communication. And it just kind of fizzled out. So it's left somebody, either you or the other person or both of you kind of up in limbo. Like, what's going on here? Why why did this happen? Does this person still like me? Are they interested? What's going on? Is there somebody else involved? Like, I, I feel a lot of questions because it just wasn't clear why the communication just kind of stopped. So the mutual energy that we have between you and this person as you deserve love, you are lovable, and you are Virgo, you're very lovable. And romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. So I feel like there are some insecurities here on someone's part. You two could be mirroring each other and you both have certain insecurities in love. I don't feel like it's confidence wise, like I don't feel like it's about your appearance or your personality or anything like that. I feel like somebody is being very cautious and because they don't really know what to expect when it comes to love and relationships. Um, just because I feel like the past had been pretty tumultuous and difficult. So it's trying to pull yourself out of that and think more positively about the future, about future connections, about this connection, because there are feelings here, and I feel like they are mutual, because this is you guys' energy together, so 
I feel like you two are scared to love each other. I hear I'm scared to love again. So this is definitely fear based because of past experiences, but there is a connection here and it seems to be a pretty strong one. I feel like you guys could fantasize about each other or one of you does, but I feel like it's both because this is mutual energy. So yeah, there's a lot of fear here and I feel like that's what, why the disconnect has happened. I feel like somebody might be thinking that there's another person involved. I'm not 100% sure if there is or not, but I'm not really feeling external energy. I feel like that's more of a worry, like, oh, we stopped talking, they must be talking to somebody else kind of thing. So let's see. I've already shuffled this, and at the bottom of the deck we have the Ten of Wands. So yeah, somebody's very worried. They're carrying a lot on their shoulders. I feel like it's past baggage. Somebody's trying to figure out how to unload that, how to move forward. I feel like they don't realize that this person, whoever you're connecting to, or if this is them, they don't realize that you could help them with this, or that they could help you with this. Um, I almost feel like it's a fight that I don't want to fight alone, but I feel like I have to fight it alone, even though that's just all made up in my head kind of thing. So, let's see. Why is you deserve love here? Please. For the mutual energy. What are these insecurities, these fears? What is this about? I feel like somebody is afraid to ask somebody out on a date because they, it's like commitment. Commitment is scary because if you allow yourself to be vulnerable, you can get hurt. And I know that that's a common theme with a lot of signs and a lot of people in general. It's it's a, I guess, a rational fear, I could say. But I feel like this person is different. You would be pleasantly surprised or they would be depending on... Um, where you stand in this. Seven of Swords reversed. Yeah, there's some past shit that's happened um, either with you or within this person, but because it's mutual energy, I feel like it's between the both of you. So it's almost like, uh, what is it? A, not a kick in the ass, like a shot in the gut, basically. Somebody did something to either hurt you or someone in your past. Uh, the person... Jesus Christ, I can't talk. Someone from your past or the other person's past um, did something really sneaky and hurtful and it caused some trust issues. And I almost feel like it's not just trust issues in other people, it's within yourself. Like somebody's thinking, what's wrong with me? Why can't I find love? Why did this happen to me? There must be something wrong with me to make somebody cheat on me or leave me in the cold or whatever the reason is. So I feel like somebody's taking this on as their own. And you both could be doing this. I almost feel like one person is doing it though. And the other person is trying to pull them out of it. So yeah, something from the past that is still kind of lingering in your present. Um, and it's a fear. It's not actually happening anymore, and I don't feel like the person you're connecting to would do that to you, but it's definitely got you thinking that you can't manifest what you want in your love life. Like, you don't know how to make things work because even when you're happy, like say you have a really positive conversation with this person and things are, uh, they're making you laugh and things are progressing forward and it's really wonderful. All of a sudden these, these thoughts creep back in and kind of shut it down for you and you're like, oh my god, what if they do this to me? I can't, I can't be happy. If I'm happy, they hurt me. Like, it's, it's very fear-based. I just, I feel like it's, it's not, based off from fact. It's based off from the past. So somebody definitely did a number on you or this other person, whoever is feeling that way. Let's see, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real, Virgo. Don't deny yourself. It's too many, so I'll take this because I saw it. We have temperance reversed. So this is all about needing balance. It's also figuring out how you feel. Like, um, 
trying to understand where these feelings are coming from, I feel. And it's trying to be on the same page with somebody else. So I feel like, Virgo, you know that the person you're connecting to wants to have a new beginning with you, with the fool here. That they want to move forward with you. That they want to have that equal exchange with you. And that they're a really good... They're a good fit for you and they're a good person overall. I feel like somebody is very nurturing, caring, giving, um, funny. It, this person has a lot of really great qualities, uh, qualities that you would look for in a long-term partnership, basically. But I almost feel like because of the past, you feel that you're not worthy of that, like that you're not good enough, that you couldn't match this person. Like I almost feel like you think that you can't level up, like you, you'll never meet their expectations. There we go. But what you're not realizing is this person doesn't have expectations of you. They're just flying off from faith and how they feel. Um, they're not expecting you to be a knight in shining armor and come in and rescue them from this cold, dark world, you know? Maybe that's what you're expecting from this person. It is mutual energy. It could be vice versa, like I said. So even if I'm saying that's how you're feeling, that could be the other person's feelings, and you could be the one who's trying to connect with this person. Um, it's different for each and every one of you, so take it where it fits. But yeah, there's somebody wants an equal exchange, but it's not happening because of the past, basically. So how you feel, Virgo, about this person. And like I said, with energies, vice versa, I'm, this is, I'm reading this side as you, and this side as the other person. I just heard Libra, so you could be dealing with a Libra, or you could have Libra in your chart. But regardless of that, um, if this energy seems like it's the other person, put it there then. <laughs> this could be you. So let's see. How do my Virgos feel about this person? Deep down that they're not sharing, that they wish they could share, but they just haven't. Hard shuffle, so hold on. Oh. Mm -hmm. How do my Virgos feel? Shuffle again. Okay. Okay. We have the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like this person is somewhat, you've waited on this person for a long time. Not necessarily, not necessarily this specific person, but a person like this individual who's coming towards you, this person who wants to have a commitment with you. You've waited on someone with these qualities for a while. I also feel like you guys feel that this person is worth investing in, that I kind of hear please give me time. So I feel like you want, you feel like you need more time to figure out all the kinks of this, but remember, not remember, you need to realize that you can't plan falling in love and you can't control how things are supposed to fall into place or how they're supposed to happen. So don't try to sit here and nitpick about it because if you do wait too long it could end up being a lost opportunity but anyways um, regardless of that how you feel is that this person is worth investing in it's like you've waited you've waited a long time for an opportunity like this and it's almost like I don't know what to do with it now that it's here um, it's like I want to move forward I want to take that leap of faith but I'm having some issues within my own life trying to heal from the past can I get more on the... That's too much. Can I get more on the Seven of Pentacles? I almost feel like because the cards, Jesus Christ, aren't really talking, you're not really talking. These are feelings, thoughts and feelings that you're keeping to yourself. And if this is them, then that's what they're doing with you. Then we have the Eight of Swords. This is that self-imposed mental prison. It's being stressed out and worried and filled with anxiety I feel like you guys are worried that this person isn't going to stick around that they that you're taking too long that you you've put you put this connection on pause for so long because of you know whatever's going on whatever happened to you in the past and whatever worries you may have 
um, because you're thinking this to death basically but you put it on pause and you're worried that they're not going to stick around because you need time and it's almost like they want it now and you're like I do too but I, I can't right now <sighs> yeah you're having a really hard time making a decision with judgment here in the ace of cups you do love this person you have a lot of feelings for this person but there was an injustice that happened in your love life in the past and and you still haven't recovered so how does this person feel about excuse me about my Virgos Neither one of you are expressing your feelings. I feel like one of you did tell the other one or feelings were exposed at one point, but it kind of got pushed under the rug. And anytime you've talked to this person since, it was not in that emotional space. It was more in that fun, loving, free space. I feel like it's that. Ten of Wands. So this person feels like this is a lot of work. I feel like they know that you're going through something. But they don't really know what to do. It's This is coming to an end of a cycle. I feel like this person feels like there's something that you need to end in your situation or in your life. Either a thought process or if you're um, clung on to, to a past person or hoping that someone will come back around from the past. Maybe that's what you're stressed out waiting on too for some of you. This person might know that you have a lot that you need to clear up and they're feeling that this could be a lot of work. Like this is more work than I thought it would be. Like I thought just because we have these mutual feelings that everything would be all hunky-dory and it's not because somebody is not coming. Jesus Christ elusive king of cups a uh, king of cups might well, could be dealing with a water sign cancer Pisces Scorpio but the knight of cups <laughs> is not coming in and expressing their feelings I feel like this person might actually feel that you are trying to play with their emotions because they expressed how they feel almost that stringing along energy I don't feel like you're doing that on purpose but they might be thinking this and then we have the Hermit, yeah, so this is represents you, Virgo. Um, it's going within. And then we have the Two of Cups. This is a soulmate connection. It's just a relationship in general. I feel like this person feels that there is a strong connection with you. That you were kind of put in their path by the universe. And that they want to see where this is going to go. And they're really doing a lot of... Um, inner reflections on their own life, on their own feelings, and just on the situation and you to kind of see if they should put this work in or if they should just drop all the wants because it's, it is, it is a lot. Um, they know that you're struggling with things, but they're, the way that they feel about you is, is so strong that they want to see where this will go. So I feel like they're just trying to keep to themselves right now follow their intuition and just see what the what signs the universe sends them um, they haven't dropped it yet though I feel like they're considering moving on to something else or someone else but they haven't yet it's almost like you're worth the fight is what I hear so that could be you or them but and then we have what do you want from this connection or just in your love life we have the Nine of Pentacles reversed. So to me, this could be representative of a relationship. So you do want this connection with this person. I feel like you want to work on your stability, though. And not just your financial stability, but your emotional stability. It's almost like I need to be okay on my own before I can be with somebody. So it's like, please give me this time to work through some things so that we can come together kind of energy is what I'm feeling so Virgo you definitely want this connection could be with the Queen of Cups Cancer Pisces Scorpio but this is being emotionally affected by the situation yeah you want to go back to this person so there definitely has been 
a disconnect. Like I felt a distance in the beginning, like not a separation because I don't think you dated this person, but I do feel like you want to go back towards them. Um, and you want things to be the way they were when you first started talking. So I feel like some of you might have had conversations that didn't, that weren't that pretty. Um, I almost feel like I, I see somebody sent, telling somebody, expressing their feelings like, oh, I, you know, I want to go on a date with you, I want to hug you, kiss you, whatever, being all mushy-gushy, and then the next second they totally change their mind and retract everything they said, like, I didn't mean it. Um, and it's only because they were scared and worried um, of being emotionally attached to another person because people can hurt you. So can I get more on this Nine of Pentacles reverse for what Virgo wants, please? I really hope that this is making sense because this is definitely a very confusing dynamic. I feel the confusion on both sides, actually. And then we have the Hierophant reversed. So yeah, you two are definitely not in union. But I feel like, I don't feel like this is, because usually, okay, blah, blah, blah. the Hierophant can represent a high level commitment like marriage or whatever so Virgo you might want to have a relationship and a connection with this person but you don't ever want to get married maybe this person wants to get married and you don't so there's like a difference there that you need to work out but regardless of that I don't feel like this is a disunion I feel like you guys are not together right now I feel like you both want to be together but it's I want to go slow we can have this connection um, and we can take baby steps towards commitment because I'm not ready for this high level commitment right now. I'm not ready for the end all be all. Can we please just go slow? And if you can't go slow, I'm not really sure how to move this forward because I know I'm not ready for this. So that's kind of what I get with that being reversed is it's not that you don't want it. It's that you feel that there's something, there's unfinished business. There's something you need to do probably with a past relationship or past connection. Um, there's some emotions or things you need to handle within that so that you can have this relationship. I almost feel like severing ties with the past. So some of you could still be hanging on to a past person. Probably because of what they did to you. And that's what's stopping you from moving forward with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. It's just not the right time. Ten of Pentacles reverse for a solid commitment. You don't feel stable right now. So if you're not stable by yourself, you don't think you'll be stable with this person because you want to be okay on your own first. So, And there's nothing wrong with that. That's actually very mature. Um, and if that's not you, this is them. But um, what they want out of this connection and with you, Virgo... <clears throat> Excuse me. I think I'm getting a fucking cold. We have the Three of Wands reversed. They don't want to wait anymore. They're sick and tired of waiting around for this or waiting around for things to change. Yeah, Knight of Cups reversed. They don't want to wait for nothing. They don't want to wait in vain, basically, because there's been no action. Um, I seriously feel like you either ghosted this person or you're sitting here waiting for them to message you and they're doing the same exact thing. So because you both are waiting on each other, there's been no movement. Um, they just don't want to wait in vain. And I feel like this person has expressed their feelings to you. I think I said that here um, in the past. And now they're waiting for you to express. It's like the ball's in your court, Virgo. So if you don't come forward and tell them how how you feel and if you want this to progress forward, they're at the point of dropping it and just kind of being by themselves. <sighs> yeah, they definitely want honest communication with the Ace of Swords here. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So they want you to communicate so that they know and they don't have to worry about this connection anymore. It's either... It's a yes or a no. Do you want me or you don't kind of thing. Um, so this person is just, they're up in the air just like you. They, they know you're going through a lot. They want to help support you. They want to have this equal give and take, but they also feel that it's not equal, that they give more than you do or vice versa, take it where it fits. But it's almost like I feel like you two have, you both feel similarly. Your feelings match each other. You're mirroring each other. 
So when they don't talk to you, you don't talk to them. You wait for them, they wait for you. And it's hard to find that common ground because I feel like you both are kind of stubborn. So if this person feels that it's your turn to communicate, they're not going to say shit until you do and vice versa. And I feel like this lull in communication is driving you batshit crazy, Virgo. You're like, um, I'm so sick and tired of waiting. Like, I need, I need to talk. I want to talk to you like you make me happy I'm so miserable right now what the hell like we can start slow I'm just I don't know you want too much right now is what I, f I feel very overwhelmed there we go so someone's definitely overwhelmed um and then we'll get some advice and call this reading a day um and then in part two on patreon we are going to cover the obstacles and blocks, so what the hang up is here basically, and what action should be taken on your part, their part, or what, sh you know, either should be taken or will be taken, and then the potential outcome. We'll go from there. So, what advice do you have for my Virgos in this situation? Nice, please. Oh, Jesus Christ. We have the Five of Wands reverse. So, this can represent inner conflict, but to me, with it being in the advice position, this is end the conflict. Like, don't argue about this. Um, it just causes more confusion. So I feel like there needs to be communication. You guys need to talk. And then we have the Ten of Swords reversed. I feel like this is resolving a past betrayal. Something that happened in the past. An ending. So if whoever is dealing with um, unresolved issues from the past and that's what's holding you back in love this is saying you need to come out of that like what's done is done and you know not put a pin in it and come back to it later like fucking bury the bitch and and move on let let what needs to die die basically and this is emotionally speaking yeah, somebody's very, whoops, somebody's very stressed out. Yeah, it's like let out your feelings with the moon reversed. <sighs> Explain to this person what's going on and allow them to work with you so that you two can work through this together. Because I feel like if you don't talk about it, they will go away. They will drop this. Because this person definitely knows their worth. And even though they want this connection, they see the beauty in it, there's only so much a person can take. Do you know what I mean? Like, they're nobody's second choice. And I feel like this person is starting to have those <sighs> insecure thoughts, too. Like, is it me? Do they have somebody else? Because they just don't know. So basically, your advice is reveal this to that person. Be open and honest and talk about this shit because it might help you process it. And in turn, it's going to give this person the truth and clarity that they need, um, either to move on without you or to move forward with you, um, so they have a better understanding of where you're coming from. That's kind of what I'm getting with that. So yeah, that's all I have for you for the first, uh, for part one anyways, of your February 2020 love reading. And if you would like to connect with me and watch part two, please go over to my Patreon. It is in the description box below and pick whatever denomination you would like to pay and we'll go from there. If you'd like a personal reading, hit me up. Um, email me. I will give you all the information you need. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. The more you interact with me, the more I have to pick up on your energy. And yeah, I wish you guys the best and I'll be talking to you really soon. Love you guys.